Hey York, hit me with an awesome riff to start this Coffee Tech video off. Hey, welcome to Minor Thoughts. I'm Don Hakla, and this is Copy Tech. I have been away for a while, a long while, and um, I apologize, but I haven't given up. I still like to do creative things like this every so often, and lately I've been inspired by my good friend uh, Justin York, I work underground with. He does guitar how to videos, and I featured him at the beginning of the video. So uh, yeah, check him out, check his channel out, just started, uh, it's awesome. And also, as always, a good friend, Byron Rempel. Um, I have his heart, artwork all over here, uh, you can see all over. He's been doing some live stream lately and he's always inspiring to me. Uh, I love his artwork, I love his style. Uh, you should definitely check him out too when you have a chance. It's awesome. So let's get into the coffee tech and uh, I'll show you what I have. It's something new and exciting. It's for the AeroPress. I'm pretty sure everybody is familiar with this right here. This is the fellow Prismo for the AeroPress. Uh, said to give you espresso style shots using your AeroPress right here. But today's video is going to feature what was in this box. It is called the Puck Puck. It is a project I backed off a of Kickstarter, or maybe it was Indiegogo, one of them. Anyway, um, it's out of England, and uh, I don't think I've seen any reviews from anybody on YouTube for it yet, so this may be the first. What was inside this box that works for the AeroPress? So here's what's in the box, the Puck Puck box. Uh, that's the Puck Puck and Carafe. The 500 milliliter carafe it comes with with the upgraded version. Uh, if you want just the puck puck itself and use the water bottle, that's what you get down there. So yeah, the puck puck is a cold drip coffee attachment for the AeroPress coffee maker. Turn your AeroPress into a Kyoto style tower and make great tasting slow drip coffee at your home or on your travels. All you need is your AeroPress and a puck puck and a 500 milliliter water vessel. And it shows that you can use uh, a water bottle, 500 milliliter. And yeah, it's a slow drip, cold brew coffee tower maker using 
the arrow press. Isn't that awesome? So let's get on with the rest of the review. This contraption right here. And the addition, this is the addition uh, to the Puck Puck. This is the Puck Puck itself. And it sits on the bottom by adjusting this dial right here. It will drip coffee slowly onto the grounds and into your cup. It takes about three to five hours, depending on how fast you set this drip dial for. Now, this right here, you can either attach a water bottle to. It's got the threads for the water bottle. Or you've got this edition. This is the upgraded model. The uh, watercraft, I believe, is what they call it. And um, let's get into making some AeroPress Slow Drip Coffee. What you need is your pre-wet filter attached to the AeroPress. You will need this, the plunger, but you will need this. You take the filter and uh, the, the mesh set it on your cup. Uh, what I've got here is the scale. Then you need your coffee. This is a Guatemalan and Colombian blend we picked up from uh, West Virginia, a place uh, that sells this coffee, Stone Tower Joe. And uh, it's pretty good, it's sweet. Uh, I'm not a fan of real sweet coffees, but uh, it's good. It's good. So, what you want to do next is take, they're very specific about this, they want 38 grams of coffee. 38 grams of medium grinded coffee into the bottom of your arrow press. You've got 20 there. Getting closer. 33. Almost there. 34. 37. And we'll finish it off. 38. Good enough. Let's set that aside. And then what you want to do is this part right here. This is a drip diffuser drip diffuser that goes in the bottom um, then you want to take this and attach it to your puck puck or your water bottle uh, supply and then that goes on there just like that Next, what you want to do is take some filtered water. I use this for a filter pitcher and fill it up. Uh, they say roughly 500 grams of, or 500 milliliters. I don't know if that equates to grams, but. About what I put in there. There is also a fill line on the craft, and then you just let it drip, and it takes three to five hours. So while this is doing its thing, let's let uh, York play some Jeopardy music. So, three to five hours later, you have a very smooth, very awesome tasting cup of coffee. 
people like this method uh, because you get a pure tasting cup without acidity. The slow drip gives you uh, just a cleaner, fuller body tasting cup of coffee. And uh, I'm impressed with it. Uh, it took a while to get. Uh, there were points where I thought we weren't going to get them through the Indiegogo campaign. Uh, they're having problems with the uh, process to make the to make them uh, the process to uh, I guess uh, 3D print them, um, but they came through and it was worth the wait. And just like my videos, I know it's taken me a long time to get back to making videos, but it'll be worth the wait and. Um, I just want to thank Justin for providing the music and the intro, and uh, you should check his channel out, you should check Byron's channel out, he's, he's awesome, just uh, check him out. And thanks for watching Coffee Tech on Minor Thoughts, bye!